guys, how you doing? And welcome back to another episode of Road to Legacy, where we are currently sat with AC Milan at the top of this Serie A. Absolutely destroying things with this team. This team is just phenomenal. The amount of players we've bought, well, the players we bought in have just been unbelievable. Davison and Sanchez, um, Depay and Eriksen, the three players we brought in. But if you didn't check out the last episode, we could be making a massive sale, and it could be our key centre half, or one of them, um, Ramon Garli, our captain, could be on the way out. Now, we're going to simulate this game here against Genoa in the league. I say we were top, we're not because Inter Milan have had a game in hand. Um, but we're going to simulate this game whilst I talk to you guys, and fingers crossed we can get a win. But big things are happening with this team. We are on the way up. We're going to stick with AC Milan for two seasons. So this is our first season, another season, and then we'll move on to another team. Now... This team is brilliant and I'm loving it. And if we sell um, Roman Garley, we're going to have loads of money and we're going to have to bring in some key players. Now, I'm having a look at my comments here on the last video, so I'll give them a quick read out in a second, guys. But if you're new to my channel, it would be much appreciated to me if you enjoy my content to leave a like and subscribe um, to the channel. It would just be phenomenal. Uh, it will mean a lot to me. We're so close to 400 um, subscribers. We were five away. We went, then went to four away. We're now back to nine away. People, you know what people are like. Uh, people like to like to leave um, channels after a while. It just happens. I don't mind it. It's part of a YouTube community. It happens. Now we have a quarterfinal game against Spal, which we will be playing. But I think we have had the sale go through. No, we haven't. We haven't had the sale go through yet. So we're going to simulate a bit further forward while I still talk to you guys and have a look at the comments. To my right here, as we have Scarapos and then Dombele, one of my favourite players in this game by far. Is the sale going to go through? That is the question. It may already have. It just may not have popped up. Um, let's go and have a look. Roman Gali has been sold. So we've now gained 70 million. Now, we're going to have a look at the comments. Guys, if you do comment on my previous videos, I will always comment. I'll always bring it up and bring you up and give you a shout out um, in the next episode. So if you haven't already checked out my Road to Glory, go check it out. I uploaded an episode yesterday of this being uploaded. Go check it out. It's with Forest Green Rovers. We're currently in the Prem and you will enjoy it. It's a lot of fun to do. But here we go. Let's jump over to the comments on the last episode. Um, we're going to start with... Madi Panjwani, um, sorry if I've absolutely killed your name here. Um, first one you put was pre-contract pre -contract players are important. We will be looking into that for sure. Um, but we're going to get through the January transfer window first. You then got him put, um, let's change Memphis to play shirt number to 11. That's what he's wearing in real life. So we'll head over there right now and do that. We'll quickly change that over. Um, I don't know what he is currently wearing. Um... I mean, Memphis Depay. He's currently wearing 13. Right, yeah, let's change that kit number to number 11. Um, Baroni, you can, you're can. you not wearing number 1. That's for sure. We'll change your kit number to... I don't know. Let's change your kit number to number... We'll give you number 16, Baroni, and we'll see how you get on. I mean, you've got blonde hair in your picture, but brown hair in the game. Well done, EA. Um, you've then gone and told me to check out Jimenez. He would be a perfect fit, but he's unfortunately... Gone and signed for Arsenal. Now, Jimenez was a player that we looked at bringing in at the start of the season, but we went for Davison and Sanchez instead. But Jimenez has unfortunately joined um, Arsenal, so we cannot sign Jimenez. Um, I'd love to do that. I'd love to bring him in, but unfortunately I can't. You've also asked me to check out Julian Weigel. Now, he is the one from Borussia Dortmund. Um, let's go check out Julian Weigel. Now, if this is a thing, um, I think it's V E. IGL Julian Weigel, 23 years young. He's 80 rated overall. He's bold. He looks like he could be quite a good player. He's not. He's at um, Munchen Gladbach. So um, I think it is. Yeah, Munchen Gladbach. So we check him out. Um, De Rossi, you have given me a shot. A 95 manager rating at the top of the European side could never be much better. Dude, don't worry. I love your series um, with Bray Wanderers. It's a good series. Guys, if you haven't already gone and checked out De Rossi, he's a fellow huge small content creator like me. Um, he is featured on my channel, so go check out his channel. He's a good YouTuber, a lot of energy, and I rate him a lot. So go check him out if you haven't already. But thank you so much for the comment. And that leaves us on the comments today, apart from DSD Plays. Great video again, bro. Just seeing it now, notifications. Guys, if you haven't already got the not notification bell turned on and you're enjoying my content, be sure to turn it on. It'd be much appreciated. That is the comments done with. Now, obviously Jimenez was the one that was brought up there. Now, I'd love to bring in Jimenez, but we're obviously just not going to be able to bring him in this transfer reason. 
transfer window. It's a bit upsetting. I would have loved to bring him in, but we just can't. Daniel Rugani has gone to Chelsea, which is interesting. Rudiger would be a good signing. He's at Atletico Madrid. Didn't want to bring him in anyway because I've already used him. Um, there we go. Look, he's at Arsenal. Can't even sign him. Sign him. Um, Nacho Fernandez. I mean, these guys, they are all very good. Now, this is a player I could be interested in bringing in. Samuel Umtiti. Let's see if we can maybe bring him in. Or a Kanji. Now, this was a player that was recommended to me previously. Um, and you know what? Let's actually go and make a move for a Kanji. Now, he would be a brilliant, brilliant player. Now, we're going to go and have a look and see how much people are going to cost me. So, 27 to 41 or 69. We're going to go for a Kanji, guys. Um... We're going to go in for this guy. It was recommended to me in the start of this career mode to sign a Kanji. We will make an offer for him. See whether he wants to come and join us from Borussia Dortmund. Um, we'll offer a transfer fee. We'll offer him We'll offer him 20... We'll go 27 million. See what you say to that. 27 million for a Kanji. They're saying 39 and 5%. Right. Let's count this. Don't want to pay paying that much. I'm not going to lie. I'll go 30... Mm, let's go for 30, 30 dead on. Let's edit sound calls, give him a hefty sound. We're not going to be selling him. If we do buy him back, it'll be in another team. So it won't affect us. So 30 million, 25%. Boom. They've accepted that. We will take that. We will get a kanji. We will delegate this one. We've got plenty of time to delegate it. How much is he currently on? He's currently on 46. Let's delegate this. Let's take this down to 54. See what he says. Now, the other one was obviously Julian Weigel. Julian Weigel is a player that... I'm happy to try and bring in because you guys want to see him. Maddie wants to. Maddie would like to see Julian Weigel. So what we'll do actually, we will make an offer for Julian Weigel. Um, I mean we can't. He's just signed. Oh, we can't even bring him in. Damn, that's annoying. But this is what we are going to do. We are going to sign the next Engolo Kante. This is a player I want to bring in, and we can't. Are you actually kidding me? Are you actually for real game? Can I not? I can't bring in and Dombele. That is heartbreaking. Um, so the other one to go for is Tonali. Now, Tonali is a player that was recommended to me earlier on in the career mode. We'll approach to buy Tonali. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look. Guys, today's episode, we'll play the spell game. We'll do this work, see what happens. And then in tomorrow's episode, well, on Thursday's episode, I will go forth and do transfer deadline day so you guys can give us some more ideas of players to sign. And they want 5.1. We'll accept that one and bring Tonali into the club as a backup. Because obviously, we can train Tonali. And obviously, if you haven't already gone and checked out Barfy Boy, he raves this. He raves about this guy. Barfy Boy's a brilliant YouTuber. Um, I love watching Barfy Boy. He's so, he's so entertaining to watch. So if you haven't already, go check him out, guys. Um, we're going to start give you um, start you off at 10k. See what you say to that, Tonali. And we're just going to keep it like that. Now, like you said, pre-contracts are important. So we're going to do it over here. Is we're going to go over here, go to instructions. We want new. We want contract. We want it less than one year. And we want world class. So we're going to do that. See whether we can bring in anyone on a decent pre-contract. But we're going to wait for these two, um, these two contracts to come in. And training Pia Tech, like people have asked me, or Piss Tech, or however you're going to pronounce his name. I'm bringing him in. Um, training him up like people have asked me to do, so I'm going to do that. Hopefully one of these contracts comes through before the spell game. That would be ideal. Transfer offer for Suso. Ooh. 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 Suso. He's not really playing part of this team. I'm not going to deny it, guys. He's not really getting a foot in, because obviously we're playing a 4-2-3-1. I'm playing Paqueta. Ericsson and Depay is the three cams. And I'm playing Cotrone up top. Suso isn't really part of this club. I think we can get some money for this. Give me 50 million. Give me 50 mil for him. 84 rated overall. 25 years young. 50 mil. 37. It's not happening. 37 is not happening. I will Give me 46. Give me 46. We don't want the negotiations to fall through, so we're willing to pay 46 and a half million. Damn, guys, I'm happy to see Suso out the door for 46 million. It obviously means we're going to have to try and bring in someone else. Like, this team is dwindling. Like, we got a youth academy player, but obviously he's not really done anything. Another transfer for Suso. Flipping Nora. Suso's wanted. Suso is wanted by everyone, guys. I don't know why. 
Don't, couldn't understand why. I don't rate him as a player. Um, obviously, other clubs do. He's just not my style. Give me 50.1 and you can have him. Give me 50.1. Go on, clock. Take it. 41 and 10%. Can't, I, don't want, I don't want that selling clause. Give me 40, 47. Similar to what Barcelona are giving me. Give me 47. Boom. There we go. Guys, Suso is going to be out the door. We haven't signed any of our new players before this game against SPAL. We are away from home. We are going to play this game because I want to get some gameplay in today's episode. But if we sell, sell him, we, we're dwindling on our team. We're going to have to sign up. Obviously, we're going to be signing two players, hopefully. Um, if we go to the office, our youth academy... <laughs> I'm absolutely devastated about this. We're going to sign... We're going to promote him to the squad. Ben Benito Benedes. We're going to promote him. We're going to work on him because I want to work on him. As we've actually still got 100... We st oh, there we go. Actually, wait. I just realised. Benito Nuno... Oh, wait. He's just the academy research. <laughs> I thought it was one of the guys we've just signed. Guys, I'm such a moron. Um, if we can do this, we can sign, sign those two players. I'll be happy, but... In the comments down below, guys, I want you to let me know who you want me to sign. I need players. I need a centre-half. I need midfielders. I need a striker. I need backup players. This team is dwindling now. I don't, if we get any injuries, we're screwed. Let's just put it that way. So, guys, leave it in the comments down below what you want me, who you want me to sign. We're going to play this game against SPAL in the Cup as Suarez has signed for Chelsea. Damn, Chelsea, you are spending money left, right and centre. Uh, but, guys, let's jump into this game. See what happens. Ultimate difficulty. Let's do this. So then, guys, here we are, the Copa Nacional. It's a competition that we've already won. Um, sorry, pardon me. It's a competition we haven't already won, but we want to win. We want to win everything whilst we're in Italy. Um, the Copa Nacional is going to be something important. We obviously won the Italian Super Cup, more or less, against Juve at the start of the season. And things are going well with us so far. We're obviously a bit short on players. We need to sort that one out. We have signed, obviously, our academy um, scout future star, who was actually a load of crud. He's only got potential to be... Great, and that isn't what we wanted. He's obviously going to have. We we're going to work on him and try and get him higher, but we're going to have to see what happens as they are on the ball, and we get the ball here with Calabria. Now, Spal are not the best team in the world, but they're not the worst. As we play that ball over to Ericsson, Ericsson sees the ball in there to Cotrone, Cotrone to make it one nil. Of course he does. It's one nil, just like that, guys. This is more like it from this team. You had a boring episode last time with gameplay. We we're already one nil up five minutes in. What a way to start this off, and Cotrone. Is just fantastic. Um, I love Cortrone. He's a brilliant player. It's a brilliant ball in there by Ericsson. And it makes it 1-0. And Ericsson's just a beast. But guys, let's move on. Let's try and find a second goal. And see what we can do with this team. Oh, here they come now. San Angali's on it. Out wide. Winners, winners Sanchez. Well done. Second ball strike. What a goal. What a goal. They're back in it from nothing. Literally, first 10 minutes gone. I mean, Davison and Sanchez have got to do better here. It's a, it's a poor header away. What, what a strike that was to make it 1-1. Donnarumma is not getting to that at all. Like, look at this. I mean, if the replay comes, it's a brilliant strike, brilliant technique. It's 1-1. They're back in it. And they're 10 minutes gone. It's 1-1. It's not really ideal for us. I mean, we were ideally going to be 2-0 up before they even got another strike here. But Ericsson's on it. Ericsson, fake shot. Cuts inside. Sees Kessaye. And, I mean, guys, it's 2-1. It's just like that. It's not Kessaye, sorry. It's Bakayoku. And it's 2-1. We are back in the lead. I mean, what a game this has been. I mean, it's a brilliant play there by Ericsson. It came from Ericsson. Brilliant ball. Held it up. Fake shot. Cuts it side. Lays it through. Boom. 2-1. What a way to... What a start to this game this has been. A lot more entertaining than the last one. That's for sure. Brilliant tackle there by Caladra. Now, Caladra needs help. He sees a run of Memphis Depay. Depay's on it here. Berber spin inside. Now, what can he do? He cuts outside. He's still on it here. I mean, he's still on it. He's going to drag this one back and keep it. Memphis Depay. Fake shot. Cuts it back. Oh, it's a poor. It's poor, but he gets the ball. We get the ball back with Bakayoko. Depay's on it. Sees the through ball into Cotrone. Cotrone tries to whip it in. There's no one there, but we get the ball back here with Bakayoko. Bakayoko into Depay. Depay with the strike. What? What was that, Memphis? Memphis, what was that, my friend? Not good by him at all. Oh, we get the ball there with Bakayoko. Ericsson sees the ball into Bakayoko. Bakayoko goes into Memphis. Memphis, Berber spin this time. Lot better. In the box. Called Trinity's there. It's a good save by the keeper. It's a good ball by Memphis. Now, Memphis, I'm playing in a bit wider position rather than in playing up top. There are reasons behind that. It's because, well, I want to play Cortrone. Cortrone is a brilliant player. And I also want to give Piatek a chance when Cortrone is not on form. But 
Kersey is on the ball here. Bakayoko looks injured, which is not ideal. Um, Kersey sees Kaladara. Cannot pronounce his name. Into Ericsson. Ericsson into Cortrone. Cortrone needs help. Sees Kersey. Kersey with a strike. It's a good save by Viviano. We get the corner ball here. Now from the corner, what can we do? We're just going to whip this one in. Ericsson's there. Big head by Deverson and Sanchez. Second ball, Memphis. No, Rodrigo, sorry. Into Caladria. Caladria sees Sanchez. Sanchez needs help. Needs help. Sees um, whoever this is. It's Rodriguez. Rodriguez into Kese. Kese into Ericsson. Ericsson with the strike. Ericsson scoring that every day of the week. Ericsson is scoring that every day of the week. Guys, we are 3-1 up. And it's not even half an hour in the game. Ericsson has been phenomenal. Love this guy. He's been probably my favourite signing so far. Um, obviously, Memphis Depay has been good, but just Ericsson in that camp position. Look at this. I mean, edge of the D, edge of the box. He bends it past Viviano in goal. And look at it. Just look at how well, well placed that is. It's 3-1. What a start to this, this game has been. They're on the ball here. Patanga into Kortrick. Oh, brilliant tackle by Kese. Now, Ericsson sees that ball into Depay. What can Depay do? Can Depay do anything here? He does another Berber spin. He likes that move. Gets a strike near post, and what a goal! Memphis Depay, I have slated him a little bit, but that is what he can do. He's a brilliant player, it's a nice strike, we make it 4-1 against Spau. This has been an easy game. Their keeper is just struggling big time. It is 4-1, just before half-time. We're going to stick with it until half-time, I think, now. Um, I mean, this team has just come on leaps and bounds. They are a phenomenal side. We may not have a big side, but we have a quality side. And that is all that matters. As we hit half-time, what a performance it has been by the AC Milan boys. I mean, just look at it. Just look at it. This team, it's just phenomenal. We are going to actually rest Cortrone. We're going to give Piatek a chance up top. Um, see how he gets on. It's 4-1. We, we can risk it. So, 4-1, second half. Let's see how we get on. New striker. And I think we'll be alright here, guys. Bakayoku sees Ericsson. Ericsson, first time strike. It's good save by Viviano. We get the corner ball. Now, are we going to do anything from it from the corner? We're going to drill this one. Ericsson drills it. Near post. It's a brilliant save by Viviano. Um, let's go a bit further back post this time. Launch it a bit higher. Big header. It's a wasted chance, guys. What a start to the second half this has been already. Damn, guys. Now, Pequeta. Into Sanchez. Sanchez cannot find Bakayoki. Now they are on the ball. Oh, brilliant. Sanchez finds Pequeta. Pequeta into Kese. Kese sees Calabria into Pequeta. Pequeta's on it here. Pequeta's on it. What can Pequeta do? He's just going to cut it in. Sees um, near post. I mean, guys, it's 5 1. I don't know what this keeper is. I don't even know if he is a keeper. He's got number two on the back of his shirt. I don't think he is a goalkeeper. I mean, he's wearing number two. Is he a goalkeeper? I don't know, guys, but he's poor. It's 5-1, and this has been easy. Sanchez into Calabria. Calabria sees the run of Kese. Can't find him. Calabria into Kese. Kese goes back to Calabria here. Now, what can Calabria do? He's going to go inside, actually. Calabria is running inside. He's running that run inside. Since into Piatek. Oh, it's poor touch. Big header, well done. Kese, Calabria. Calabria into Bakayoko, Bakayoko into Piatek, Piatek goes into Rodri uh, Depay, who's into Rodriguez? Guys, it's 6-0. It's actually 6-0. What, what do I say? What do I say? Now, Viviano is an actual goalkeeper, I've checked. I've checked. He's an actual goalkeeper. Don't know why he's wearing number two, but... I'm just going to prove a point. It's 6-0. We go to settings. We go to game settings. We look here. Z 50, there's no sliders. We're on ultimate difficulty. Nothing's been changed. And I just don't know what to say other than we are absolutely destroying spell. 6-1. This is what this AC Milan team is capable of. This is what we are capable of as a team. Damn, this is feeling is good, guys. Here we go. Now, Memphis Depay is on the ball here. Oh, it's a nice little bit of skill. He turns into the player, though, but we get it back now. Memphis Depay. Bad touch, but it, no, it's not. It's actually quite a good touch. Back at Yoku, then. Into Piatek. Piatek into Kansejo. Back into Piatek. Piatek is poor, but we get the ball back. Kesee. Into Casillo. Casillo sees no one. Now, we get the ball here with Casillo here. 
Can't drag it back. We get the ball back though. Calabria into Bakayoko. Bakayoko sees Piatek. Piatek takes touch with the strike. Let's just make it 7. Let's just make it 7-0. 7-1, sorry. Spell, what is wrong? Spell, what is happening? We are 7-1 up in the cup. We are on ultimate difficulty and I will prove it straight after this episode, straight after this game. We'll go straight to game settings just so I can prove to you that we are on ultimate difficulty. I mean, this has just been too easy, guys. Too easy. They they scored and I was worried, but hey, what, what do I say? What do I say other than this team is phenomenal? Absolutely phenomenal. Now, can we actually make it eight? Can we make it eight? No, we can't, but oh my days, guys. No, I can say though, sees a run here of Pequeta. Pequeta, what can he do? Oh, he gets the ball somehow. He strikes it. Viviana with the save rebound. We've made it eight. We've made it eight. We've made it eight nil. Eight one, sorry. What do you want me to say? This guy's come on since half time. Piatek's come on since half time and he scored a hat trick. He scored a hat trick. He's been on for 45 minutes. He's not. He's not even been on for 45 minutes. Oh my god, he's been on for half an hour and he scored a hat-trick. This guy is... Why aren't I playing him more? Why aren't I playing him more? Oh my days, guys, it's 8-1. Well, I don't know what else to say other than this has just become too easy. They're on the ball in the last, 90, last three minutes of the game. They're on the ball in our half. Are oh, they going to find a goal? Ah, I just don't know what to say. We're away from home. We're 8-1 up. Did I really need to play this game? Definitely not. But I did. And we destroyed them. They've not done anything with it in that last three minutes of the game. Guys, what a game that has been. Piatek was phenomenal. I'm going to have to use him more. Um, it was only 3-0 at half time, And we've scored five in the second half. They had two shots. We had 19 shots in total. I mean, I don't know what to say. Spell were atrocious. So I will just prove a point um, really quickly to show that we are on ultimate difficulty. So we go through... Um, the Copa Nacional. I do apologise if you suddenly got hiccups out of nowhere. Um, but guys, if you stuck with me this far and you don't think that was worth a like and subscribe, I don't know what you think is worth a like and subscribe. Um, we're just going to go to game settings here. Look at this. Ultimate difficulty, guys. I'm not even joking you. This is unbelievable. Um, yeah, if you guys didn't are new to the channel and haven't left a like or subscribed yet, then I don't know what you guys are doing. Please hit me up with a subscribe. Um, it would be much appreciated. Now, here we go. Suso has gone and joined Barcelona for 46 million. We gained 43 million from that. Tonali has come and joined us. And so has Nkanji. Now, we've signed two good players here. Um, so, we're going to be using them. But, guys, it's now down to you. We have a lot of money available. Patrick or Trenet, you are going nowhere. So, we'll block that. Um, we have a lot of money to spend. And I mean it. We have a lot of money to spend. If we look here, we have 135 million. So I want you guys to give me some names. We're going to cut it around 126 million. Give me some names. I want either big name players or a couple of mediocre name players. When I mean big name, I mean like Ronaldo. When I mean mediocre, I mean like you. I don't know, like your Ericsson's. Well, your Ericsson isn't even mediocre, so I don't know where that's come from. Um, I am scouting players in the last year of their contract, so we'll have a look at this one um, and see what we can do. Like, we have a look around here, like Eric Bailly. Is he actually. Is Rashford in his last year of contract? I don't think we can approach him um, because he's too young. But if we have a look around here, Dries Mertens, we could maybe possibly approach him. Blaise Matweedy, could we approach him? I don't think so. Um, I mean, I'll scan through all of these players and see who are in the last year of contract, see whether we can bring them in. Um, Matt, um, Ramos, we can't sign on a pre-contract. Savic, he's approached by Leverkusen, so we could probably go in for him. Um, Toby Alderweireld, I don't know if we can. But guys, I'll have a look through all of these players, see what I can do. And yeah, if you have any players you want me to sign, let me know in the comments down below. But if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. It'd be much appreciated. I'll give you a shout out in the next episode of the AC Milan. If you do comment on the video, so be sure to comment. Next episode will be on Thursday. Guys, have an awesome day. Have an awesome week. I will see you on Thursday, not tomorrow. Don't upload on Wednesdays. It's my study day. Uh, university is hell. Um, but guys, have an awesome day. Have an awesome week. I hope you have an awesome, like I say, I hope you do. And leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, guys. And peace out.